Hi, this is Sheila with Conscious Conversation Central, and today is, what is today? Is it Thursday? The 12th. It is Thursday, uh, September the 12th. I knew it was the 12th, but for some reason I couldn't remember if it was Thursday or not. Um, and I'm with my gal pal posse on a Thursday, not Friday, but a Thursday. So that's cool. We're changing it up. And that's BZ Rieger and Lisa Fonina Rush. Ladies. Hello. So we were chitty chatting before we turned on the camera and BZ said, oh, that goes right into what we're going to talk about because we had already chosen to have a conversation and we have the title. It's uh, the energetics flow no longer. Um, I, I, I might have wrote this down wrong. Uh, 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 uh. You tell it, BZ. Say, the say energetics that. are no longer for an apprenticeship but for a mastery ship. Yeah. I, I stuck the word flow in there. Yeah, I did too. I don't know why it goes there. But. Oh, interesting. That was okay. a condition to, I think that was a thoughting of thinking, thinking of the thought of flow. Oh, <laughs> maybe that. Well, yeah. it could be say the energetic flow is right. no longer for an apprenticeship. Yeah, but for a mastery ship. And because we, we had an experience, actually. Do we want to share it? Sure. Okay. So BZ was relating um, something you made, a sauce, I think it was, a, an yeah. ice cream sauce. Yeah. Made from fresh fruit that I picked and then a Sunday sauce. And I couldn't, I'm, I, 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 it was actually kind of rude what I did, but I couldn't help myself. I stopped BZ mid-sentence. She was trying to describe <laughs> something. And I got it. I knew exactly. It wasn't, uh, she hadn't even gone to exactly what she was going to say. And I knew it was uh, like it came over me as that telepath uh, telepathy thing. And she, do you know what tapioca is, right? Or no? Yeah, I just don't eat a lot. Eat, haven't, maybe. Okay. Ever eat well, before. she was describing maybe. something and I just knew it was tapioca. <laughs> I think it was awesome the way that whole thing went down, actually, because yeah. it just came right in. Yeah. <clears throat> and 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 I like that you you know you notice that it's it is it's that's a part of it. Um, flow no longer, and I just knew I had that right, even though I might because it was my experience of tapioca that I was describing right. to you. So and. What what I said was you, I was about to describe this one, the, there's two kinds. One is a dark chocolate raspberry sundae sauce, and the other one is a dark chocolate blackberry sundae sauce. So I was about to describe the raspberry one, and I was starting to talk about it, and I was just about to describe the mouthfeel of it. And I said it, it, and she's, no, stop! And so I said, okay. And she said, tapioca. And of course, my brain and taste buds are going, no, I don't think so. So, what it was, so it was a beautiful example of this jump. You were tasting what I was tasting to, to then describe. Mm -hmm. And in your walking in the world and you're tasting in your direct experience that was a time or many times when you've tasted tapioca right so that was your word for it and the reason i said well let's record you know and get this on is because there are often there's an awful lot of times where you say well i i don't like that word you know i'll say i'll mention a word or something to play with me eh, because you have a an different experiences where you have had an experience with it and so that's kind of locked in an experiential jpeg to go back to another metaphor for you of it and so it's hard to look around the rest of it and see hold it in any other at least just a loose open way and so what this illustrates is that you are you're um when you're picking up and holding the senses and, and connecting and telepathic and all sorts of other things as well you're already 
seamlessly translating it in to you. So all that time that you may have been, been, you know, worrying or kibitzing, well, you know, I, my definition of the word is different. And Lisa and I kept saying, well, but it's the energetic feel, the energetic frequency of the, the word, the phrase, the, what it is that we're conveying. When you meet that instead of the JPEG construct, the linearized construct of it, then you get it. So you illustrated this for yourself where I was describing something. And so if we're talking about strictly on words, tapioca is not in my thing that I would be putting on something. So it wouldn't be anything that I would describe. But for you, it was. And since you weren't listening to the words, you were feeling and picking up and flowing with the energetic frequency of the whole taste bud experience that was the word, right, that you put on it. So that's beautiful. So it's because a lot of people say, well, yeah, and that's true. So that the, we'll go on. I'm going to write that down because it goes on to something else about money. But um, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, anyway, so it's, it's everybody has their own experiences, their own um particular preferences and affinities and all that kind of stuff, but you can still have absolute seamless, beautiful, energetic frequency flow and connection and communication and all of that because you auto translate it for yourself. Yes. Just like you did. And I hadn't even audibly said anything. All I was doing was tasting the mouth. Ready. To describe, you yeah. said the mouth feel, and immediately we both went to imagining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love that. Well, I, I, I actually, I love, I, I love the whole, the whole way that whole thing went down. Actually, because I think, honestly, BZ, you were like, no, not tapioca. It was actually something Lisa said. I think that helped both you and I, because you said rice and i said yeah but not right and then uh, bc's like okay yeah okay i can i can see that you know uh, uh, so it's um yeah i see that and i it's, it's something very similar actually gosh this is really so awesome that this happened today too um lisa i i i watched lisa earlier have a precog about something um, that she could feel coming and it was so cool um it was it was you know we were listening to laura walker's oracle report for today tomorrow all all the way through the weekend and um she was just just prior to uh a part in her video she's talking in, in regards to the energetics as of right now and as we move through this full moon phase over the next several days that we will be feeling and experiencing the frequencies of color in a much more different way well right before laura said that lisa had pulled up we last night while we were out running errands the sunset was gorgeous which also we had an experience with her phone having captured the way she viewed that sunset much like the three of us have discussed before because we both took pictures on our phones but lisa's oh well her I, picture i was really feeling something with the sun because it it looked like it was on fire. I don't know. It was, there was just this intensity in the color. Like you could see the heat waves emanating in a way that were just, I don't know, very moving to me. And the last couple of times that I've taken sky pictures, I've been kind of disappointed. Like, hmm, that doesn't look at all like anything I was really seeing. How disappointing. So this time I said to my phone, okay, please see this the way that I do. <laughs> because it was so magical, that little moment, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and it, it really is, it's did. just 
stunning. The color in the photo is almost cartoonish or like a painting. Like it was really, really extra color. And you know what, Lisa, with your permission, I may like to use your, your photo next to mine because actually that illustrates this point too for me. Because Lisa, there, we, here we have two beings, both moved enough to take pictures with their, their phones. We were standing right next to each other. Right. <laughs> but, but one being was conscious enough to, to, wow. to, to, to interact with not just the sunset, but the phone and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And you did that. And I didn't. And it shows in our pictures. Mm -hmm. It absolutely shows, and, and I, I, I feel like that really fits in very nicely with what we're speaking on here. That is so awesome, we, and we just had that right before yeah. we, we, we got online with BZ here. Send me the images, and I'll put them together to, uh, okay. to use as a thumbnail. Okay, awesome. Well, <laughs> you might have any trouble recognizing which one is hers, let me just say that. <laughs> It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it turned out really cool. Yeah. Well, and that and that ties into something else we were talking about before we turned the camera on is um, something actually we've been talking about for a while, but that that everything is being and you can use different kind of categorizations, but but instead of reset, it's being upset, uh, mm -hmm. you know, up leveled to to the to the original frequencies to original frequencies not meaning the original like before and then you have the after but original full stop complete thought and so when you have that communication you can get you know who knows it may have transferred that so that you you engage the mechanism in your phone lisa to do that here forward or just that moment. I mean, maybe because you were talking about just you very specific this sunset. Yeah, because I took a picture of the moon afterwards. We discussed that, and the moon was like meh, <laughs> like all my other pictures. <laughs> we laughed. Well, see, I remember as <laughs> really lighting. the sun was the major main attraction, and we were just, what was funny was we were like. <gasps> Oh, like this, right? And then we turned to walk into the store and there was the moon. And I'm like, oh, look, the moon. And, you know, it was like he was, or she, the moon was playing second fiddle to this gorgeous sunset, you know? So I had to take a picture, but <laughs> it was Well, of course, the, then there's a whole other thing is that the, that the, well, the, the mechanics may have changed with the moon as well, because it's not, original and it's not organic frequency so yeah and it just and it kind of looked <laughs> <Ma>. <laughs> so this this with the with the description of the taste and something that's a good example of of what we're speaking about in in this conversation the energetics and so that encompasses everything so There, are, you know, a lot of people have, whether in discussions or in books or programs or conversations, you know, like in a workshops or doesn't matter what it is, have mm -hmm. been, you know, talking about how being mindful or clearing, cleaning out your energies or keeping, um, you know, an attentive uh, intention and attention to how you flow your energy and all that kind of stuff and and use it as a way to to be more conscious of it mm -hmm. and that's more of an apprenticeship you know because it's well before you were on autopilot and now you're a little less autopilot or a little even more or less autopilot and and so you're apprenticing you're 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 practicing you're you're getting the lay of the land and of course a lot of it was all couched in the fact that you know, you're becoming a spiritual being. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. 
Um, I held it like that I, for the right. longest time. That's what I held it yeah. like. So you, that, you know? Hence the apprenticeship, right? Right. I make the face because it's, you know, so silly. But anyways, <laughs> so where we are now in this, this is not a choice. The energies are what the energies are, and they are not apprenticeship level energies. And unless you hop off the planet and, well, it's just not a choice because you, you could hop off the planet and that's a choice, but you, you can't hop off of all of Source's multiverses because the only one who can do that is Source. And that happens rarely. So. Um, so it's not a choice and it's moved to the levery of mastery ship because you are, as everybody is embodying, not only are they embodying all of them into this body, but it's, they're also embodying, another way to say is embodying all of the all into this body and the awareness and the allness inside a physical body that's, that's holding all of that and not been done yet. So in playing with the energies and creating with the energies and flowing with the energies and wielding the energies, sculpting and maneuvering and driving, riding and, and um, grooving with the energies, right? there's a whole other level of nuance of participation of co-creation and it's a, a mastery ship level mm -hmm. and so that will translate into specific things instances provings awareness oh Shitnesses, you know, all sorts of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you know, I, I, I'm, I'm finally over the the whole falling on my face in the backyard. <laughs> Did I mention that I fell on my face in the backyard? <laughs> yeah, that's the oh shitnesses, you know. So yeah. Let's, uh, I'm, 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 hmm. I'm on the track of not doing that again. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's that. Um, yeah. And the energy feels like, uh, uh, it, for, for, for me personally, like there's a lot of change, uh, happening quickly. <laughs> yes. And the, and so um, this is kind of in response to some questioning that someone had. So it wasn't a particular question that I could pluck out, but it was okay. questioning around, well, you know, what does that mean and how do you do it and, and how, what's the results and you know, what happens and what are the ramifications kind of an all in that was a, you know, all those, all those questions kind of ran together. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Um, so you have free will in how you will navigate it, but you will navigate. It. That makes that's one of the ways to kind of mm -hmm. why, sure, yeah, mm -hmm. discern that a little bit more. And you will flow yeah. in these energies, and these energies are mastery ship level energies expansion and and the volume and the flow and the quote unquote this is not the right word but the height the the expansiveness is w at which it is so you 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 will do that and you have the free will in if you do that smoothly if you do that roughly if you do that you know with huge peaks and valleys but you'll do that and and more and more and more is coming. So, you know, uh, uh, you know, another old refrain is, well, when these energies ease up, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not going to yeah. happen. No. 
So it's, well, you, it's mastery ship on mastery ship on mastery ship on mastery ship and just keeps going. You know, my, my arm should actually be going out while I do this. But Well, you know, I, I again, this this was during, um, well, you know, prior to our meeting here, Lisa and I were listening to Laura Walker's Oracle Report, like I, like I said earlier, and, you know, with the astrology that's lined up now through this full moon phase it's it's, you know she talks about um it's she she said it's a a whole lot of loveliness is coming down the pipe but she does mention (laughs) it's also that there will also be a lot of archons gone wild and i feel like this is what we're speaking on here because the, the energy's not going to change. It's, any, if anything, ramping up. And like you said, BZ, if there's not a jumping off the planet occurring, which could happen, there's no other way to do it except that, for me, when, when Laura talks about Archons Gone Wild, she's, talk, she's speaking on, in her vernacular, folks that are archontically infected. And I look at that as folks that are running from themselves or not wanting to do the inner work or what, whatever. And it could be a combination of all of those things. I don't know. Cause I, I've met a few folks, you know, that you just don't know if they're not archontically infected. I don't know what that really means. And I mean, I, I but I get the metaphor. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And so, and we all, I think, you know, because, you know, the idea is that mm-hmm. they feed off of some of that negative energy. Well, it's also coming up to be dealt with. Right. And so if it's not properly dealt with and just, you know, lashing it out at everybody, well, that's kind of the archons gone wild idea, you know, but it's still, that's why it's, it's happening, you know, if it does. And even that I feel at this point feels like a level of moving from apprenticeship to mastery ship. Um, because again, if, if, if it's not something that a person is able to deal with, then the stress of, of acting out like that eventually is going to kick you off the planet. So there's, that's a choice too, right? Um, well, everyone's able to do deal with it. It's just a choice and, and it's, and it's deal with it. And the mastery ship is that it isn't, it's the apprenticeship is dealing with it. The mastery ship is <clears throat> dematerializing it is, moving through it in such a way that reforms it, you know, makes a composite of it or, or dematerialize. So any combination, and that's where the free will choice is, but, but none the level less you're, you're, you're going up and, and that's just a way for pictorial to, uh, you know, it's, it's not accurate. You can say you're going out, you know, but it's, it's just, uh, yeah, the, I, 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 I sense what you're saying. I, I feel like it's more of a, like, be, well, probably because of a lot of our conversations in regards to implosion. Right. Um, there's all kinds of things that are imploding right. that are wanting to be included, integrated in yeah. shadows that come that, that, you know, I, I mean, I'm having this that are saying, okay, hey, wait a minute, we're, let's, let's deal with this now because I want to come home now. It's time for yeah. you to let me in. Yeah. <laughs> let's figure it out and yes. integrate. Yes. Right. Yes. And so I guess that's the way I, I hold it at this moment. Yeah, you know. because a holing is a holing. It's mm-hmm. whole and complete. It didn't say it was uh, bring all the only fluffy bunnies home and leave the pokey things, you know. <laughs> out something someplace else it's a well, whole yeah because that's an impossibility that's not a holy yeah that's 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 an impossibility it's interesting yeah. what the the when you were talking about you know the um, arcanic influences or anachronics going wild and about and then putting that on the choice of how you know to move through that so what came to me is uh and um and they're going wild. So you drive through a big mud puddle, right? Mm-hmm. Like you might see in a picture or a commercial for off-roading vehicle or something. And so nobody's, if they're in an off-roading vehicle, they got the vehicle, you know? 
and and they're going someplace on an adventure and puddle be damned and hey mud and that's cool because i'm prepared right you know or yep. somebody else who's driving through a mud puddle and the mud is all over their windshield and they get out and start yelling at the little kid who's standing on the street corner it's your fault you, you know that's the arconic gone wild kind of a thing and so you could take just a little bit of you know a piece of cloth or wet your fingers and make a little hole that's the mud is gone and then you can like drive through it because you think you're going to get I'm just going to get there and, and then I don't have to be in the car but no because the mud is yours to clean off and it's you know so we've got to clean the mud off just as that is a metaphor yeah yeah and it's with everything so it's with your superpowers it's with <clears throat> on all of your bodies, you know, mental, emotional, electromagnetic, all of it. Um, and it's with your relationship to every bit of you to start with all of your bodies, all of yous that mm -hmm. are coming in. Right. And then that relation to, you know, all others that that are in different spheres, whether it's just the collective or um, a family group or a work group or, and then all the things that, that intersect off of that. And the most magical things are taking place for everyone. <clears throat> and, um, Try to think of the right way to say this. So, so the recognition of the magic or the decoding of the magic, translating of the the you know as as we gave with the example of the the raspberry sauce with Sheila and you know I hadn't even given voice to, but I had but but on my body level so the taste buds and all that had were speaking very clear i mean giving very specific descriptions just hadn't been audible yet and sheila picked it up and used her own way and her own you know body descriptors that were coming through and put her you know just just to say her label on it just because that was was for her that's what she called it and so at, in that mastery, when something like that happens, um, maybe the, the next step is you say, well, you know, I call that the feel of tapioca, right? Or you then go a little further and you, you have your sphere of what you call or how you do it and then the other being you're also picking up because this is going to happen with people you've never met oh yes not just on this planet no you're right you're right about that i i, I actually go ahead lisa i have an example of that so um <laughs> I'm noticing the seamlessness of my connection to and the subtleties of it. And um, so I'm finding um, a question, a, a, a well-placed question at the right time is really effective for me. Um, so I was pumping gas and th this gas station that we were at the other day had um, a, a nice attendant. They have a feller that works there and we um, have kind of gotten to know this one guy and we were actually talking about him on the way there but when we got there it was a different feller and and it's funny because there's lots of cars and bays and whatever but we always attract the attention of the attendant <laughs> and he zeroes in on us and gives us his full attention so it was interesting to me, we had a new attendant, but, um, you know, he stood next to me while I pumped my gas and chatted me up the entire time. <laughs> so it was funny because he, he approached me and he read the back of my vehicle and he said, 
the name of the dealership and in it, the name Manassas. And he said, Manassas is in Virginia. And I said, yes, it is. <laughs> and he said, like that, he just grinned. He was real proud of himself <laughs> for knowing that. And then um, I didn't say anything else, but I wanted to say, I'm from Alexandria, Virginia. And right away I said, no, you don't have to tell him everything. <laughs> And then he said to me, my daughter lives in Alexandria, Virginia. <laughs> I thought to myself, that's why I wanted to tell him. Mm -hmm. We were connecting. Yes. We were totally engaged and connecting with one another. And I feel as though the connection started when Sheila and I began to conversate about who we might yes. see. <laughs> yes, because as we were driving, this is at Costco, okay? So it's, just, you know, goods of pumps, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, um, the last couple of times that Lisa and I have been there, there's always this one fella, and he's just so friendly. And I don't know why, but I called him the dancing gas man one day, or something I said yesterday when we were going over there. And... Um, because the last time we were there, I had ice, well, frozen yogurt in my hand. And he just said, oh, where's mine? I was, I, I was trying to share it with him. But so we were just wondering if he was around because he does always interact with us. And, but he wasn't. So you're right. I think that connection, that's very interesting. You're absolutely yeah, you right about that. You were communicating there. It was almost like you were dialing in and talking to that guy. And this guy said, well, I'm here. You know, Harry's not here, but I'm Sam and I'm here today. And. No, that's good. Yes, and, and it was as though he was waiting on us because, you know, I don't know. It was just, it was just the way it all unfolded and the fact that we had this little connection and that he, he wanted to talk and I wanted to share. And I've noticed this before. Ooh, this is very interesting. Sometimes I'll meet a person and I have this very strong desire to tell them everything, everything I've done in the past 20 years. Because <laughs> you need to know this update. Like, oh, and until I got married and my mom died and, you know, I I'll just meet these people where they tell me these really intimate things about them as though we've known each other forever. And we have this huge need to exchange this information that really on the surface, we don't know each other and would have no reason to. And yet there's this really strong feeling and connection <laughs> of wanting to share this, like, um, it's, it's an intimate feeling of, um, you need to know this information and, and I want your information. Right. And it used to be where those were very few and far between relationships in my life where, you know, I'd go and that's when everything changed when I met so-and-so, you know. And um, now um, we're starting to run into people in the grocery store and I'm starting to kind of feel this thing <laughs> um, with everybody, like uh, this strong urge to say things to people in ways that I haven't before. Mm -hmm. So that's new. And to me, that feels more mastery level stuff than yes. apprentice for me personally. So, Well, just, think about it. You know, if you, if you're, flowing through the energies are mastership level and you are now flowing through them to to rise and flow out and integrate to that same level yeah and and since the level doesn't stop you know you come up then right yeah so there's a great way to cleave off and integrate some stuff because if you come to that this feeling that you're describing right and then part of you goes well wait but they don't need any you know you're cleaving off. Those are cleaving off moments. And then there's, um, that is also opening up something else up for the being that you're having that flow with for them to cleave off stuff for new things in that moment of the thought and you let it go. Cause you continue with the sharing, you know, to, to pop up in new bubbles in, in just that flow. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Because, well, actually, yeah. The whole time you were speaking there, what what came for me is um, <clears throat> our interaction, my interaction specifically with you, BZ, regarding 
um, Keegan recently where we, we, you know, where I was sharing with you some things that came in and, and when you sent that picture of Keegan and Luke together, um, it was like, it just reinforced what I had already got before, but wasn't sure. And then even after I shared that with you, more came in. So don't let me forget to tell you. Okay. Okay. But, but so it's like, um, yeah. And I could have sat and said, well, why is PC asking me this? Is it what, what uh, I'll just sound crazy and you know, that sort of thing. But instead I just gave what I got. And, and because at that point, what the other person does with that is, is really up to them. Right. But there's a reason we feel compelled to say something, compelled to do right. something, um, or, or, or whatever. And, and it just feels to me like, um, tr for me anyway, trusting myself and just, if, if I, if I really, if it comes and then just let it go. And if yeah. they don't need it or want it well, then, then that's for them to decide. And sure. that's okay. And yeah, your, your control over it, worrying about it, directing, whatever ends once you've, you know, now, and now if there's play and there's cross play and you're back, then that's, a, you know, that's, that's a whole different play. thing. No, you're right. One of the things that you, left out maybe or didn't include in what you were sharing was I had asked you a question via text I was working and I was working on my day off and I was really rather to go play and do something else so I said well you know could you do this and and part of what I felt was there was a yes you were doing something else but there was also like a hesitation because well it's just what I feel and you know I don't know if it's right so I was playing with that doing work and and then i was really strongly nudged to send you time specific time stamps on the last video that we had done and do you know i forgot all about that i haven't gone back and looked at that damn yeah go back and look. when that. it said audio only but anyways it's but on some level you did get it because the answers did start to come from you and that was related to, so there was, so what I'm talking about is a, is a, an all of me conversation with at least three quarters of you, not via text, came in and said, great, this is a mastership moment for the being Sheila. So if you feel moved to send her these timestamps over there. So, you know, start here to there, which I think it was maybe six minutes for it. And if, if she needs a little bit more backstory that she set up on the video that she, cause you're watching a video of you or listening to a video of you, then you can give her this time. Um, and so when you go back and listen to it, follow through anyways, it, part of that is that whole flow of mastership of doing things of when you get a nudge, always, 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 always do the nudge always follow through on the nudge and you can call it what you know however you call it and it'll come in different ways and he knows in different ways but that's the mastership so that's not the choice point the choice point is how you flow through it but the flowing through is what will rock because let's say you brush you get a nudge to do something and you brush it off it'll come around another way and another way and another way and it may come you know, if you're at an intersection, so it looked like a picture, like 50 cars are now all of a sudden a fan pointing at you and the nudge was, you know, around don't go in that intersection or, you know, whatever it is. So you'll have these things that will flow with an interesting thing to look at or an interesting thing to navigate or an interesting thing to play with or, you know, lots of different ways. And if you ignore it, brush it off or whatever, it'll keep coming around in different ways. And some of them, you know, have big potholes and mud pies and <laughs> cranes that are picking you out of the... <laughs> yeah, maybe a few archons gone wild over yeah. there. And yeah, <laughs> you're right. Absolutely. So, or you could just fall flat on your face in the backyard. That has happened. There you go. Yep. <laughs> and... 
Someone said, well, what does this do for you? Well, it's what you do. It's expansion. It's creation. It's continually expanding and expanding and expanding. It's continually raising your level of consciousness, raising your frequency vibration. Um, not only you could say including more of the all in you, but also refining and defining and purifying comes to, to mind. And I, w without connotations, yes, I'm not saying that, you know, it's, you're getting the bad out, so you're purifying, but it's the purity of the essence, the purity of the quality of your energetic signature. So the purifying of distortions perhaps would, would fit. Right. Um, yeah. But that's <clears throat> what a being does. That's what the soul does. And that's the go forth and no source mission, the you know overriding mission that goes out and that's not there is no free will in that it's not a choice mm -hmm. navigating and you know the the, the how you, points yeah. That, yeah those can be yeah the how you go about it right so, yeah well, so, that's back to, so someone was saying so what is it and like i said that that's it's you know it's your whole raison d'etre that, that how you're flowing with it, what you're doing while you're here, and that is not limited to anything. So it encompasses all things. It produces, avails, reveals, expands, explores, creates all things. You know. Um, well, for me, from a purely, and I'll say it from a purely linear standpoint which is i don't even know if i can say anything from a purely linear standpoint anymore but <laughs> <laughs> but but in even in that vein for, for for me what i what i've noticed through through the expansion that i have had over the past two and a half three years now because there's been some a lot of expansion for me in that um and um is that it makes it, it has made this physical vessel's life that's why i said linear mm -hmm. uh more meaningful uh more engaging more fun um just overall more satisfying and um so it's just there for for i, I don't see a downside <laughs> any of it Really, I mean, I just don't. Yeah, sometimes you know, even through frustrations that you know one has, <laughs> you know, speaking from experience, um, again, getting um, as you move through those things and you look back at, oh, oh okay, I see what I did there. Mm -hmm. Made it a little harder on myself than it had to be. Um, yeah, it's just, there's, well, there are different mines. You can go mining for more jewels, more chocolates, more, you know, whatever floats your boat is that you want to use the metaphor of mining, um, where it's rough or it's bumpy or it's chaotic or it's horrific or it's delicious or it's smooth or it's so peaceful that it's um contemplative or so peaceful that you think you're stale or stagnant you know it's all of those things and that's one of the other beauties uh, is as as we go in this mastership level and and it's you don't reach a level you know hey i'm in the master now you know because you're eternal so dun, 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 i made it <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not how it works that's not how any of that works right. and it's and it's not greater than or someone else less than none of that it, it plays into it because all that is linear because it's it's polarized and you know dualistic and that's you're you are ascending all of that and but not running away from 
and not thwarting or pushing away. Um, it's all integrated. And so what I was, one of the things I wanted to say here is that in non-physical, um, and I think we do need to do a, a whole separate conversation about this, but in non-physical, you know, you're all that is, and you're just placeholder words here. You're, you're much more aware or all aware, depending, you know, what aspect you are there of all that is. And so you, you, you swim in all that is, and all that is, is all that is. So it's everywhere. So there's no end to all that is. And when you come into an embodiment, then there is, there are boundaries. There are, there are, um, there's an edge we'll say to it. It's, it's not actual, it's perceived. And, you know, you might say, well, this is the edge of the arm or, you know, or the edge of the finger, but th they're perceived because when you can see in the totality of it, they're, they're just different differences in frequency vibration. So it's all energy and it's all connected and there is no differential. But the point I'm trying to get through is that when you come into the embodiment and you come into, whether it's a human embodiment or humanoid or various other things in all the multiverses, you come that the, the very act of the boundaries, the very act of the conduit or the container or the, the conduit. So if you're, if the river is flowing and it's in a pipe and the pipe has an elbow to it, it's going to go this way. So that's that, you know, it has an, an, an innately or inherently changed the river what was the river it's just shifted so when you come into an embodiment like that there's a mastery ship in that in in multiple levels so you could think the mastery ship of if you were looking if you're thinking linear so level so well i'm not that good at it i'm learning to do get my mastery ship which means you know higher better all that kind of stuff and if you want to use this placeholder words yes the cool thing is that it works the other way around. I'm going into my, to a conduit, to a container, to, you know, to um, embodiment. So I'm putting myself with those, with some kind of construct, however I want to put around it. And I'm increasing my mastery ship because I don't have that up here. So that's where you very quickly find out that the mastership is, is not going up or going down, it's mastering ship. So because when you're in all of it, I hope this is making sense. It's, it's very hard to, to, to put into words what, uh, what I'm sensing, what I'm seeing, but, um, or what I am, but, um, when you learn those things you there the keenness the richness the vibrancy is more it's not the right word more acute more in focus um more front of focus so in other words it's not like when you're in the river of all that is you know it's bland and there's no colors and there's no fragrances and i'm not saying that but there's all of them and so there's all of them and so yeah, yeah i know what you're saying yeah it's like um well like the the misnomer of what the color black is right it's not, it's not the absence it's all of them right and and ooh, uh, uh that's what i view love absolute it's 
all of the it, all of right. it, right? Everything, yeah. That's well. We I think we did talk about that once before about the the and if I understood you properly when you were speaking there about you know the the actual coming into right. That's um, that is mastership in and of itself. We've kind of for me I see it in. And now, you know, because going from the all that is and squeezing it down, you know, being able to be everywhere all at the same time. And I, for me, that's what all one really. Means. Yes. Um, and then squeezing down into this one lensing focusing mechanism, because for me, that's what that is. That's what this physical embodiment is, a lensing focusing mechanism that gives me just one and only one supposedly at first perspective right that was the whole idea that was a whole reason for separation if there really is such thing which there's not one uh but you know spoiler alert don't no confuse her but it was just Stay with the one thing you're, because already they're like, wait, are we up? Are we down? Are we mastery up here? Are we mastery down here? <laughs> well, but but you were speaking on that mastery ship. And for me, going from the all that is, the omnipotency of everything, energy, absolute, love, absolute, and squeezing it down into one singular perspective that doesn't recognize, cognize, um, at first and for the longest time it's connection to the all yes um that's mastery ship for that's what i'm saying so the mastery ship come you know there's we think we're little we're small we ain't got jack we don't know jack when is jack gonna come save us that's you know? yeah <laughs> and nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> when is jack gonna come save us Where's Jack already? Yeah, like, like Jack land the ship, man. You know, Jack beat me up. <laughs> Open the door, Jack. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just saw Lisa hanging around the airlock. Open the door, Jack. So, you know, we think that because the grass is greener and we're we're puny and when you know we just when we can't wait to get there you know if i only knew that if someone would teach me how to do this just give me the friggin answer <laughs> you know i i even when people will give you the answer yeah. you don't get <laughs> no, it's actually distortion to make you go around a few more blocks, you know. So that, you know, it's coming in you to the mastery, but now, so it works both ways, as above, so below, you know, that's why they have these little phrases, because when you actually look at the totality of them, you go, oh, that means something totally different than, than I thought it was before. Yeah. Um, and, and since it's all happening now, it isn't then and now. But back to what I was <laughs> saying a while ago. So when you're in the river of all, yeah. and there's not this, and, and I can't think of the quite the correct placeholder, and there's only placeholder words because they don't really describe but I'll try okay. so when you're in the river of all there is not the same richness intensity specificity magnification um, fine tuneness because everything is all of those things but all at once and so only feels like only source gets the mastery and all of that. So just to use a place or so the emotions, if you're just talking about for emotions, the, the capacity to really feel 
you could pick a few emotions to feel those, right? Or the, or the, the, well, I was going to say physical touch because that's out because you're in the all, you don't have the physical. So, but the, those kinds of things are, are heightened, are much more expansive, are in a way more, um, high definition, whatever, whatever, whether it's sound or sight or emotions or any of those kinds of things that you would categorize and think of in the physical form. Um, heretofore, they've only existed if you're just in the physical form. And in this mastery, which works both ways, so on the one hand, Sheila could say, well, we came in from our huge thing, took the straw down and <laughs> got into the little thing. So that was mastery, yes. And now we're going, oh, wait, I'm not just a, a being with, you know, in, in physical form. I, I'm going to ride the straw back up and get into all that. And there's more because we're going to have this holding of both of those, right? And the mastery and the all experiencing and all the richness experiencing of now that is creating a trinity a new being that is going to have the mastery above and below so the feeling the sensing the richness of the taste like they can you know, have a conversation one is raspberry something and this yeah mouthfeel of tapioca all those kinds of things right and and all of that at the same moment. And since we um, are transmitters, and once we, it only takes one to hold that and then transmit it, it's now being transmitted back out to the all. So here's what I'm saying, this it's not just this planet and it's it's all of everything and now so if you were even thinking for a nanosecond that the mastery ship level would get you just, you know, you could just rest on this level here because okay, you got that mastery ship, you're all set. The very act of you going through that mastery ship has now kicked all the mastery ships up many notches in all of Source's multiverses because as one you, as you who's vital, gets that match then that's a whole plateau for everybody and it keeps going and so every moment every being we'll just use as a, as a catch-all phrase is doing that now because there are no choices in that anymore because that's the level of beingness that has unfolded for all does that it, it's very hard to use linear words, but I'm trying to paint just at least a scratchy picture. Well, I, I think you did an excellent job, but for me, like I said, the, ever since, um, well, I've said it before, for some reason that uh, series Outlander really did it for me as far as really grokking the whole thing thing in regards to multidimensionality and the fact that it, I, I, I've for the longest time I was using the words I suspect that past lives aren't past that they are because everything is happening all at once and I now I just know this that I, I have felt it for a long time and I was using those words I suspect um, you know, because I was a little person in a chair who didn't think they knew anything at all. And so I was just suspecting, but now uh, there's been an awful lot, <laughs> awful lot of experiencing that has shown me, I, I really feel it's not just what I saw on Outlander, but several other things that I've experienced that, I just know that it is all happening at once and it is the mastery ship that each one of us have. <laughs> okay. So we, we forgot to tell ourselves, but we figured out how to slow it all down. So it looks like it's linear when indeed it is not. Um, and so 
that's what I felt like you were describing there is that multidimensionality. If I attain any kind of expansion, it has expanded everyone and everything. Just me. Just me. That's why working on self is so key. Is hang everybody else. We're all one and it's all happening at once. So I don't have to worry about anybody else doing their work. Just do my own. And it makes a big difference in and of itself because it has no other choice because it right. is all happening now. That, That's right. I, <laughs> and it's exponentially multidimensionally <clears throat> occurring. So then your head gets, you know, headache and, but yeah. So, so in this moment, at this moment is then to put a place over there, many moments down the road because you just stood still because you know it, that flower of life so the flower of life took on took on you know maybe 10 to the 20th permutations in the one moment where you had your mastery because a mastership or um you know, move to another space level understanding, kind of, have whatever words you want to use. And that flowered all of sources multiverses just in that moment. Mm -hmm. And since not only are you multidimensional, so the so you the you here was doing that, and then the you there, right? And so that's all that flower. That's why the flower of life works because it has all of those fractals to it, right? But also, this is the moment where, where there is this big bang across all of Source's multiverse. And that implosion is happening. So that is amplifying all of that expansion in just one tiny moment of expansion is that oh absolutely absolutely it feels like very much like that to me <laughs> but nothing's happening i know <laughs> you know and and it's um so so what I think would be fun is, and maybe we can have a follow-up conversation on this down the road, but um, if the linear mind comes in, so prove it, test it, play with it, actively participate in this moving. It's not, you know, because as you start to notice things or, or set out to look to even notice maybe for the very first time, you can actually feel into and and um, see reveal to you where you have you yourself, even though you may not have known to call it that before, move from apprenticeship to mastership on something. So I'll give you one example that that um, comes to mind. You know, someone may say, "Oh, I was thinking of somebody," and hey, the phone rang and it was them. That's a, a common one. Or, uh, and I've relayed the story, you know, stories like this before, where you're, you're at work and you're thinking, oh, I forgot to ask so-and-so, did they do this or can they do this or did that get done or whatever, right? And then somehow you've kind of made that happen. So a little ways down the road, you see it. So it's kind of a delay or you weren't, it was just happenstance that you noticed it. So it was kind of not planned. Mastery ship, though, is where you're actually setting out to intentionally do all of this and play with this and raise it all up and, you know, integrate it and kick it up, you know, several more notches and you keep going. So now I have been, there's certain lists I make for certain um, people at work and I've been leaving things off the list intentionally. They're still on my list, but I've left them off the the um, let's say the two the person list or the or the other being who can see it CC just for capture of the list of stuff right it's a stuff to do the stuff to do do this stuff list please mm -hmm. and so then as I go so that gets sent out maybe the night before and then the next day as I'm going through 
and I'll and I will then send this piece that it got left off the list to the being. Please do this, you know, or put this on your list or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And seconds, seconds later, I will get a text. You know, I'm I'm gonna do this. I, I either I think you either they may they may hedge a little and say like I think you mentioned it or I noticed it or whatever it was, but it's this goes out and the text rings or whatever it is and it comes right. So you can play with it, or you can even do it where you go, you, you think about it or um, it's either an asking or a delegating or I'm going to be so excited when they complete, you know, so that's different things. And you just happen to, didn't plan to go there, but you go to this place that you were thinking of that and you walk and you're like, wow. Now you hadn't been there that long before. So the orchestration of how you thought it, because that happens first and then they catch mm -hmm. it and they get but you know, almost happens at the same time. And so now this is something that I, and this works just as an example, I do it everywhere, but I consciously play with that. It's a nice side benefit because it's work and the things need to get done, but mostly I'm playing with me that I'm doing the real work. And so is there more things that I can do to clean up with how I transmit it or come to it or how how less tangibly i need to actively let's say push that thought out does that make sense yeah you know what i mean well, that, no that made perfect sense so all of that is really cool ways to um you know it's one thing to to know or hear about or suspect that that you know we've moved from apprenticeship level to mastership level. okay now it's time to go Okay, yeah, I'm actually though, yeah, I'm doing this. I am doing this. And then you set up ways and games and things to play with that. And and even if something comes through and it's, you know, the crunchy time part of the mastery ship or the or the mud bath time or whatever, you know, again, okay. Yep. Now in a previous apprenticeship I'd have thought or uh oh or ouch. But now I can look and go, yeah, I'm going to whip out this magic cloth that's going to take the mud off. I'm going to do this. I get this jack in the back. It's going to fix the, you know, the car, whatever it is. So, so it's a totally different, huh, okay. So from a linear aspect, you could say it's a totally different way of approaching things or holding yourself or whatever. And that would be accurate from a, a tight, narrow aperture which changes your frequency output by the way that's right that's right when your frequency is more expansive and you you encounter something right and it's now in your experiential field and your frequency and as you again from the point of proofing and proving and actively master shipping we'll just say um you can orchestrate, navigate, facilitate, and paint, as in painting the script or painting the scene or, or you know, this was the tool and you need to paint it quick. So this is the tool, you know, in that moment because you're scanning the, right? And you can do it right that moment using all of your your multi-dimensions you can even vanish the mud on the windshield to light sparkling and hitting off the windshield and in the <clears throat> diamond of reflected light um it, it's a prism prism p-r-i-s-m prism code of new data coming in for a, a, a either a timeline jump or shift or a hop of expansion. Does that make sense? So yeah. you're leapfrogging all the time and you can be, well, you are just, you just may not quite be noticing it yet. Well, what you're describing there is not only the mastership, but for me, I, I also 
recognize you, you're exercising the quantum muscles along with playing those games and proving, yeah. proving some things yourself, just playing with them, period. And, and, and it's um, strengthening your muscles because you, you, if, if you're sending out you know, a frequency thought wave and, you know, and, and it's picked up that, that, I mean, that, you know, that, yes, that may happen all the time, but folks, if, when they don't recognize it, it just kind of falls off to the wayside. But, but this is a, a, it's also a way of self-validating, by the way, I see that as a, a way to, because that that's something that I'm setting up, or let's say BZ, you set up, and you will know, right? Because you you set up Absolutely. that game, and that that's that is a self validating thing to play that sort of a an exercise, you know. Yeah, and absolutely, and because like we were talking about before, where it's not a choice, you are in the mastery ship. Well, anyway, I'll jokingly say round, although it's an infinite. So, okay, it's a really big round and it lasts an infinitum, right? Right. <laughs> um, if you think, well, I'm too busy or I got to work or, uh, you know, I got stuff to do or, but you don't understand. Cool. You bet. You're still in the mastery round and you don't have a choice. <laughs> So, so the, the thought may be intentional, what I was talking about and I was using for proving and I'm playing with it and I'm, Hey, hey, look at that, getting the stuff at work done. Right. Or I can not be doing that and just be sloppy, lazy with my thoughts or whatever, or complaining that, you know, that darn person at work, you know, isn't doing this and go off in this whole tangent, you know, which I used to do. Um, and when it bit me in the ass enough times, I quit doing that, you know, cause you get the proofing really quick. So it's not working or they never do this. And then all of a sudden they never do X, Y, and Z just in your particular window. And you're wondering why they never do because, you know, <laughs> cause you're the genesis of all of this, you know, stuff. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the, Everything that's taken place here with this, this 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 whole computer situation that I've had is is another uh, thing that comes to mind with that. Okay, so it's like the <laughs> the very moment I stopped pushing that sort of a and and you know uh, Lisa was trying to help me. She really was. She just said, "Well, I, all I know is, uh, you know, th with the frequency that you're approaching it, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to say there." <laughs> well, you <Never>. know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And oh. so, but it just it seemed like the minute that, a big glass. <laughs> yeah, the the very moment, the very moment that I released that sort of, you know. Uh, approach to it and I, I love I love Lisa's uh, you know metaphor for that is you just you know float you know just roll over on your back and float mm -hmm. yeah you have to let go and surrender in order to float yeah okay I mean well not when you're 490 pounds okay so I, I i know that's true i floated like a fish bobber i could stand straight up and down in the water and, and it would come up to here to me so i i get that but but <laughs> nowadays i'm I, you know there's more muscle and if you're gonna actually float you have to surrender right and i you know i i'm i guess surrender was one of those words i used to have trouble with and i kind of get it now um well, it's someone else just said, um, actually two at the same time and, and two different and they were almost frequency mirroring or yeah, mirroring of each other. So maybe reverse. Um, wow, this is so cool. I want to think of ways that I can, you know, as you mentioned, play with it or proof it or you know, how can I do that? And, and, um, because that will not only 
uh, as Sheila talked about, give me the um, what was the word you used? Self validation. There you go. The self validation, but it will also help me clean up. You know, when I'm when I'm maybe not being so active in my own thing. So that was that one thing, and then the other being was like, well. It's hard and I have so much else to do, but this is what we do. It's what we've always done. We're taking to a whole new levels. And with all that we've been through or coming down into the stroll or thinking we don't know Jack or any of that kind of stuff, this is how we create all that we want. And it's happening anyways. Right. So if we, think, well, I don't have time for that or pay it no mind or whatever it is. It's just going to exacerbate all the things you think that are hard or too busy or whatever, whatever, whatever that you're, that's the focus mechanism, the excuse, right? To the distortion is the real way to describe it. That's pulling you away. It will just magnify it, magnify it, magnify it. You will magnify it, magnify it, magnify it so that it, it gets your attention more. You cannot not clean it up, cannot not notice it, cannot not think, huh, I bet, I bet I got a better way to do this kind of a thing. Or like in the magnifying, like a magnifying glass, you know, when you were a kid, if you like focused it at a piece of paper and see if that lights up or something. Yeah, that will happen too. Cause you're a kid that's the size of all of sources multiverses and you're creating and you're you know that's what's going well, on i get it I've, for 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 the one the the second for the second being okay that you mentioned there the the thing that came to me while you were speaking on that subject is that i get it it's it's um I think for, for, for me and sometimes still, even still and yet, um, being present and really being present in the moment, it's, 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 a, it's not something I've ever really been present with. Okay, so and what I mean by that is sort of counterintuitive in a way. It's certainly not at all, it's, I, and I get it, we, did, we weren't taught that, we were you know, distracted away from those sorts of things and that was part of the whole deal. So right. yeah, be, being, I really, you know, I heard the be here now. Well, I am here now, so I'm not, <laughs> okay, I'm on here right now, so tell me what, <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> or get conscious, I am conscious, what are you talking about? I'm wide yeah, wide. I'm talking to you, ain't I? <laughs> so, yeah, no, I get it, I get it, I get it, I'm with you, I have said those words myself, but, but the, if everything is happening all at once, being here now it, it regardless of what one is doing there's always a, a way to be here now being present with myself and it's not like i said it's not because i've never actually exercised those muscles well and it's so important to do that because you only have power to act in the moment so if you are so busy revisiting the past or projecting yourself into the future you have no power to act yeah that's what i meant about it, it feeling counterintuitive because right. uh, you know from the moment you wake up you got to get the kids in you got to go do this and you got to and now uh, yeah, the mind is loaded with all of that and mm. who's got time you know, I mean, there's, right, I, I get it, there's, but there's, um, that's a, that's an illusion that. It's an illusion, that's a great point, it's an illusion so much so that if you 
<clears throat> value yourself enough. Love yourself. Trust yourself. And let's say you say that your service to others, then then really hold that, trust it, honor it, know it. Um, be be you know the being that you are, the creator being, the sovereign being that you are. Be a hundred percent responsible and accountable and liable. So mm -hmm. for that, right? Mm -hmm. It actually. You could say it either slows things down to no time. So in other words, I, I'm going to take the five minutes and do this. And the this is being here now, that this is being present, that this is stilling all this other kind of stuff, that this is focusing and tuning in and envisioning it already happening, creating it now in these moments, and then going out and walking through that materialized effect, right? Right. So that would be one way because there's no time. It also speeds things up mm -hmm. because there there was less effort, there was less distortion, there was less resistance, there was less drag and pull on you now because of that. Mm -hmm. it, it changes everything. And that's not just you know, a platitude, that's not just a phrase. It, it literally, tangibly, energetically, physically, in a materialized, touchable way, changes everything. Well, it, to, and to that end, um, there was, and I, I, I'm really sorry that I don't recall exactly where I heard this, but I remember that I decided I was going to prove whether or not it was a true thing to myself mm -hmm. in regards to time. <clears throat> um, so if, if, if the, the, the premise was that if, if you're constantly trying to do something cause you got to get somewhere and you got to be somewhere and you know, we, we got it then, then yes, the time is because you're not present. You're not being here now. So, it and but but when if concentrating on whatever i i tried it once being slow and method being present in in what it, and 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 it did feel for me as though there was no time as that and i'm that's why i'm speaking to this because i tried that for myself the not thinking about the past, not thinking about, well, what I'm going to do five minutes from now, just very, uh, you know, just very present with myself in whatever it was I was doing. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it really was, it was very, it was very interesting, uh, noticing that I had in regards to that. Um, it didn't because the time was elongated it felt like for me mm -hmm. i, I want to say this i noticed that too like so i like to play with that a lot and um one thing i've noticed is um sometimes i would catch myself being upset about being late like, let's just for, I want to give a practical example. So, um, you know, it's easy to be mindful and everything until you're late, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden <laughs> you're late and you take on that. You're not being here now. You're suddenly, you're wishing you were someplace else. <laughs> you're in resistance to where you are. <laughs> um, Okay, so I started to relax into where I am. So instead of being upset, okay, I'm really late and, and doing the, the normal thing that I would do and the fret and be really upset and then the traffic because now I'm late, of course. And so it just adds to it and it gets worse and worse. So now, um, so now if I were to wake up late, suddenly I know the timing has changed. Something has happened. 
and I'll just go into being very hyper vigilant and um, sort of, um, I, I call it alert, like, oh, something's changed and, and I'll, I'll wait for it. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the news. Um, but I'm knowing that I'm okay that I slept in. Like, I mean, this has literally happened to me. And I'll, and I'll wake up and go, oh, wow, I've got a bonus half hour. Like, I can't wait to find out what deliciousness has happened because of observing myself in and out of being here now, <laughs> in and out of consciousness. And I notice that when I am conscious and I engage my life in that manner, I know that everything is as it should be. Everything is perfect. And that if um, I overslept, it's because, oh, the person I was going to see, something happened and the timing has changed and I have an extra half hour. So my guidance said, we're going to sleep here because it's changed something at the other end and it behooves us to sleep now because it's going to prepare us for this change that has happened while I was sleeping. And so there's just this, this trusting and knowing who I am, that I'm multidimensional and that I have this on every level of me, then, then the part of me that isn't in the know can trust in the knowing that I have this, mm -hmm. that everything is exactly as it should be. And so I sort of change my path to meet me. <laughs> and, and instead of saying, oh no, something, something has gone totally wrong and, and have that uh, panic that I would leave the house in and then have that, that beautiful experience of uh, the whole rest of the day, I can now just it relax. brings more out. proving to you. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Creating that along my way. <laughs> Oh, hey, Liz, Lisa's calling up a store. Let's come on. Yeah. Oh, it's time for the Lisa store. Exactly. <laughs> and now I know that it's all perfect. And it's, it's all uh, as it should be. If, if, it, if it's in my field, if I'm looking at it, if I'm feeling it, if I'm tasting it, if I'm smelling it, it's for me. <laughs> And so I'm just learning to be okay with whatever presents. And in so doing that, I'm discovering really the perfection of it all. I'm seeing how it really started way back there. And the end um, destination is way out there. And without things ticking, um, I won't have the perfect experience that, that I desire to have. I, I'll get there. But it's, it's, am I going to get there in the frazzled state with, you know, one heel broken and a missing earring and, you know, just <laughs> feeling like that when I get there? Or is it just going to be, you know, orgasmically delicious every step of the way? Because truly it's up to me. <laughs> because yeah. both of those are, are options for me. Well, you know, for me, what you're describing there, Lisa, what really came in very strong <laughs> is the whole, with the whole surrender thing. It's a matter of releasing control. Yeah. And, and, and I got to tell you, <laughs> that's a toughie. Um, as, I mean, you know, as someone who just recently woke up to the knowledge that I was codependent um, you know, that, you know, and, and so, and I recognize now what it is. It's, it's, you know, we think we're trying to control because we, but, but when, in, for me, everything was pretty much, you know, out of control. Well, eh, the only thing that was out of control was me trying to control everything. <laughs> and still to a degree, you know, until I actually finally get all the message, you know, completely all the way in until all the different aspects of me get that, you know, that, that it's okay to release that. Because there's a, there's a bit of misnomer about that. You know, I think, you know, we have to, we have to got to grab the horns of, of your life. You got to direct your life. You got to direct it. You can't just sit back and, <laughs> 
So there's something to be said for exactly what you're saying there. Mm -hmm. I feel. Well, especially when you, when you um, get the correct description of who the you has to take control of your life is. Well, exactly. Which you? Well, no, I, I, the I really books don't. are not talking about the you. They're the books are talking about the you, and they get it all wrong. You know? No, I know. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> it's a it's a huge um, uh, twist, misnomer. Uh, yeah. You know, how, however you want to word it, you know. But but you know. that's all all of that frequency is changing now we just we uh, i have there's parts of me that hadn't got the memo yet right and i think that's what uh all of us on the planet are experiencing we kind of sort of okay maybe what huh i'm not sure i think i saw something about that memo but i'm not real i don't quite grok it yet and you know so now it's pouring down subsequent memos. <laughs> yeah, just ask me. I whip them out to myself all the time. <laughs> wow, this has really been an excellent conversation. And just like all the other ones uh, spawned at least three or four more that are begged to be had. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> wow. Well, was there anything either one of you wanted to add to this one? Not to Ooh. this one, but I, I'm, I'm making notes to the, all the other ones that are popping up. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> well, I want to, I want to uh, take a moment here and, and speak to all, all that are, will join our energetic envelope at, at some now point. Um, I, I'd love to hear from folks that are, you know, exercising their muscles and, and playing with it. What BZ was speaking on there, you know, play with it yourself and then share, you know, yeah. if you feel moved to do so either in the comments or to any one of us, um, uh, you know, through the emails that are in all of our, uh, videos, both on BZ's channel, quantum playground, and over here on conscious conversation central. Uh, and so either in the comments or in, in email, and, and if you want to come on and talk about it, Hey, yep. what is that? You know, I, I, I make that offer all the time and, you know, so give me a shout out. We'll, we'll try to hook that up. You know, would love, love to hear what is happening for folks, you know, as you play with that, because I know it's, it's an awesome, uh, like I said, self-validating kind of thing. And for me, it's, it, it really builds trust. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And it, it, you know, transmits out uh, expansion ramifications. It transmits out different ways to do it. It's, um, there's something very much in the, act of sharing you know so you go and you do something and you're proofing it different ways and you you have the thought you carry it through you reveal it oh okay you find those different things you share that there's something in the sharing of the story and then that meets everybody else's story and that actually that's that flower of life again it's you know it is it, it's unfolding and unfurling all sorts of other no points of expansion around this particular thing. So it's another form of mastery shift. Right. To move forward and do that. Well, you know, when, when I was in, um, when, when I was supervising and part of my um, duties were to train others in my duties and their duties, um, I always used to say there's, you know, there's not a dumb question or anything in, or comment for that matter, because even if it doesn't pertain, if you feel moved to share it, to say it, it could be that it would be the one thing that would spur another question or another thought or another thing that it was necessary, highly necessary and needed. So, and I, I view uh, 
my invitation to others, and as BZ said, in regarding to sharing, you might sit there and think, well, oh, my little sharing's nothing, but you don't know that. You, who, who knows? I mean, if one feels moved to share, share. Doesn't have to be with me. It's it a be with anyone. And nudge, and and we're in, you're in the mastership. We're all in the mastership round. So, yeah. That's what you do. Yep. Growth begets growth. The same as violence begets violence, as far as I'm concerned. So, hey, you know. Well, ladies, this has been an awesome one. Yeah. And I want, if everybody will please, if you have not already, please subscribe to Conscious Conversation Central. If you're watching this on my channel, if you're watching it on BZ's channel, come over and subscribe to Conscious Conversation Central. Mm -hmm. Help me out, guys. Uh, I, I know that everybody watches a lot of these on BZ's channel, but come over and pump up the numbers on mine. You can be subscribed to us both at the same time. Nobody will care. <laughs> I care, however. I so I got to subscribe, you still keep doing it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Play the game, you know, click the button, they'll uncook you, click the button, they'll uncook you. That's right, that's right, that's right. And um, I guess till next time, we'll, we'll have all the stuff in all the regular places and, and, and all like that. So till next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.